find out the most comfortable place for the meditation, Japa meditation. Become eyes are closed gently and become aware of the space all around your body. You want to be sure about the place, awareness of the space all around the body and become aware of the body. Go a little deeper, become aware of the breath. Awareness behind the breath is the mind and the thoughts, feeling and emotions. Deeper than the mind is the intellect, shines with the knowledge. And behind and beyond the deeper than the intellect is the ego. And beyond the ego is our real self. Only one real self is unchanging and the rest are constantly changing. So when we are saying Om Namah Shivaya, we are with the name mantra. We are seeing that form of the real self in the name of the Shiva. And the mind should be receptive. Now I don't need you to make you comfortable and carefree. You are already into that state. But just for the name's sake, being comfortable, the entire body and experience, the sensation, comfort and steadiness. And being carefree too. You already know it. Being carefree, the thoughts, feelings, emotions, experiences, they come and go. And you are an observer. Let's just mature your mind by Mangala Charan Dhyana Moolam Guru Ramurti Puja Moolam Guru Padam Mantra Moolam Guru Ravakyam Moksha Moolam Guru Krata Let us visualize every line of this Mantra Dhyana Mulam Guru Ramuti. The root of the meditation is the image of the Shiva, the form Guru Ramuti, image of the Shiva. The moment I say your mind has a thought image, either in front or in the heart or all around you, Wherever it is, Puja Mulam Guru Padam, the root of the prayer is the feet of the Guru, feet of the Shiva. Feet represents that I drop my ego, my preferences, my false notion, what I am, what I have. What I possess, all are dropped, open mind, receptive. Mantra Moolam Guru Ravakyam, whatever the instructions are given, coming from the teacher, uh, that, that is the root of the mantra, means mantra is Om Namah Shivaya, but the root behind that mantra is the instructions and the steps and the practices that you are doing. 
Mokshamulam Guru Hukrata. The root of the awakening is the grace of the Guru, grace of the Shiva, grace of the teacher. How come? Because teacher transmits that knowledge to a seeker who realizes the root of meditation is the form, the image of the Shiva. The root of the prayer is uh, the feet of the Shiva. The root of the mantra is the instructions and the root of the awakening is the grace. First time, you understand the meaning of Om Namah Shiva. So we do it a little softer, but we just do it with simple understanding. With the mala, every beat it moves with the mantra. So maintain your awareness that a single mantra Om Namah Shivai, one beat. Second mantra, second beat. So it is at the physical level, basically. We want that the mind that has entered into the body moves habitually and impulsively is brought along with the journey of meditation. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivai, 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 
Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, when you complete the mala, just stay there and just visualize just visualize the mantra again first we visualize the four line mantra what is that the root of the meditation the root of the prayer you remember the feet keeping aside your ego the root of the mantra the steps and the instructions and the root of the awakening. Now, second mala, second mala, you say, obviously, loudly and gently, the mantra with image. Mantra with the image. It's a mantra with image means what? The moment you start saying the mantra and your mind looks at the image either inside your heart, in front, or any thought image. That will go a long way. Let us start. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya, your tone in the gentle way of mantra is the same, but your mind looks behind that mantra, the image. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivai. 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 Om Namah Shivaya. There is a pause. In that pause, you vividly have a thought image of the Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om Namah Shivai. 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 Om Namah Shivaya. 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 
Om Namah Shivaya 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 Please continue and complete this round and stay here We have the another round three this time. You see Om image means that you give a pause. Namah image, Shivaya image. And this time you are with emotion. We are calling with emotion. Or I would say as if you are attached to the Shiva. That would be a big step. But this time it is softer and the pause after the Om, after the Namaha, after the Shivaya, Om. Namaha Shivaya Om 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 Namaha Shivaya you, It demands a little greater awareness and attention because sometimes the bead moves habitually. Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha 
Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha 
शिवाय ओम नमः 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 शिवाय Please continue and complete the mala. Complete this mala. And stay there. Full liner, Dhyana Mulam Guru Ramuti, the root of the meditation is the form.
puja mulam guru padam a reminder into the mind and the field of awareness puja mulam guru padam the root of the prayer is the feet feet means what i am what i have what i possess mantra mulam guru devakyam root of the mantra is the teaching of the master moksha mulam guru kripa when our mind is absorbed with this knowledge it starts whispering so in whisper whisper means that the words cannot be fully understood by others but for you it is clear it is clear because because of the intention because of the clarity because of the knowledge we already have and in that whispering of om you see the image nam offering shiva ya so it's a kind of in, in, i'm speaking a little loudly but it is murmur let us start with this down with the mala shiva i'm speaking loudly so that you understand but your sound is very soft gentle and whispery Is is there? The feeling is there. The emotion is there, as if you have already got it. so notice the change in the emotion and based on the emotion your whispering changes Shiva 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 Shiva
Fingers are waiting to change the bead. And there you are fully aware. And that sets the image of the Shiva. to invoke the thought image of Shiva. Continue, my friend. to you and image is vivid Shiva, 
Continue. See the importance of this bead in the whispering mantra. Shiva. 
She Mm-hmm. 
Continue until you complete this round. And if you have, if you complete the round, drop the mala and continue doing it, even the same with the whispering sound. That space, that image, that emotion is filled with the image of the Shiva. Continue. the mala you can drop it so that we should transcend the body the mind emotion absorb into the image without any movement of the body but complete the mala and then drop it and continue with the whispering sound mm. You take the lead, you do it with your emotion, with your feeling, with your image.
No, just as a reminder, I will say in between. doing it whispering without the mala and continue if I say as long as you are able to do it and after that you stay there in that state Reflect on the state. 